My name is Joe Chapman. I'm a nurse anesthetist here at Duke University Medical Center. Well, my role here at Duke is as a nurse anesthetist, we function uh, on a day-to-day -day basis in the operating room, uh, helping provide direct patient care uh, in the operative setting, um, delivering anesthesia. And so delivering anesthesia is a, is a unique way to, to help people. We meet them in the, from the pre-op area, through the intraoperative phase, and then finally in the recovery phase. And our role is to be there beat to beat. Every time you know, they have a heartbeat, we're the, the provider that's monitoring them, providing medications to ensure their, their comfort as well as their safety, and uh, being the eyes and ears um, while they're asleep. So I've been here about five years. I've come from a family of healthcare providers, and, and I was fortunate enough that uh, leaving high school, I, I got a scholarship to nursing school. So I was in nursing, and then I also then went on to, to go into the Army. And when I was in the Army, uh, physical training is, is part of that experience. And so I was doing some physical training with a, with a senior officer, and he said, Joe, I, I think you have what it takes to be a nurse anesthetist. And I said, are you sure, sir? He goes, yes, Joe, I, I'm pretty confident you are. So with that, um, I, uh, I shadowed him for a couple days and shadowed some of his his peers, and after that, I thought, you know what, this is something that I would like to do. And then I applied to the Army's program in nurse anesthesia and uh, subsequently graduated. The Army has, a, has somewhat of a, a unique program. It is credentialed through the same credentialing bodies that credential civilian um, programs. However, our program is such that we train um, to prepare to go to war, so our training is somewhat different. But our, my degree is granted through the University of Texas at Houston, and I take the same credentialing boards, the same um, ultimate um, preparation. Out of college, as, a, as an undergraduate, I went to, to work in the Army as a, as a nurse. Uh, in the 18th MASH. It was one of the last MASHs in the Army, so that was, a, that was a fun experience. And then they loaned us back to the hospital for our practical training, for our practical work. And then uh, because of that MASH experience, when I was finished with the, uh, my anesthesia training, I went on to the uh, 82nd Airborne Division, where I was involved with what was called a forward surgical team there. And our team was responsible for providing care directly on the battlefield, um, if, should anybody get, get injured. I was fortunate and uh, that I didn't have to go to war. We always just prepared to go to war. And uh, I thank those men and women who have served in that way since uh, my departure from the military. The biggest stress of our job is ensuring uh, the patient um, emerges from anesthesia in the same state that they presented uh, to anesthesia. And so uh, at times, um, it, it's one that, uh, is not very stressful, like, like a lot of jobs, but, but at times uh, there, are, there are critical moments in any case and critical portions of the case where you know, it is our role to ensure that they have the proper amount of, for example, replacing their blood volume, um, ensuring that their blood pressure or heart rate's in the right, uh, right spot in relation to their preoperative status. And so at times that, that can be stressful. Um, there are times where where it is, um, it's your job to ensure that uh, an adequate um, breathing device is placed. And when I was in training, our instructor said, you, liked, you need to be the guy who wants to be at the foul line with one second left. And so th th that's the person who goes into anesthesia, the person who likes that moment where all eyes are on you and you have to make the shot. Anesthesia is, is, uh, is an area where when people look at what we do or think about what we do, they think that patients are always asleep, and maybe in a lot of um, settings they are, but the critical moment that you have with that patient just in the five to 10 minutes before surgery, um, it, it makes it special to me. I really enjoy um, meeting patients. I enjoy um, putting them at ease, letting them know that they're going to be safe um, during their anesthetic, talking to their family members, alleviating any concerns they have. Then there are certain specialty areas within anesthesia where you really get to, 
to um, use those skills even more in obstetrics, in uh, placing epidurals, and talking to mothers when they're having their cesarean sections under regional anesthesia, they're awake for that. And the nurse anesthetist predominantly in, in a lot of settings is the person at the head of the table with that patient. And so um, a lot of people have had children and, and know what that experience is like. And so to be there for that, 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 uh, that life experience and to be the person who's with the patient at that moment and letting them know that things are going to be fine and, and uh, we're going to take good care of them, it, it makes, makes for a good day. I think I would suggest it to anybody who, uh, who likes taking care of people. I think our, our job ultimately is taking care of patients. That's why I went into nursing and, uh, and nurse anesthesia is no different. It's just a different way to take care of patients. I think when someone's asleep and you reposition their arms so they don't get any pressure on that arm, when you um, position their head in such a manner so that they don't get a stiff neck after surgery, um, it's those little things in caring for patients that you have to be the person that wants to do that. And, uh, and so I, I think those are the kind of people that, that we'd like to have in anesthesia. The person that is not average, but the person who it was above average and the person who, who wants to go that extra step in making people comfortable, um, making people pain free, and ensuring quality care. Our role here at Duke as nurse anesthetists is, is part of a, a broader anesthesia team. We work hand in hand with the anesthesiologists and uh, without them, I think uh, I would be remiss in saying that we wouldn't have the quality of care that we have here. And so we have three primary providers who, who provide the quality of care we have here in, in, in our department. Those are the anesthesiologists, the nurse anesthetists, and our anesthesia technicians. And all, all parties and all providers um, play a key role. Without any one of us, um, patients wouldn't get the care that they receive here at Duke. My role at Duke is important because providing safe anesthesia is something that makes a difference. And making a difference uh, in this setting is very, very rewarding.